Happy New Year, Farmdale Foxes. Welcome back from winter break. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, and we're excited to have you back. So let's go ahead and jump right into our announcements. It's a new year and a new month, so that means that we have a new character word of the month. So our character word of the month is excellence. Excellence is when you're striving to be the best you can be and doing the best that you can. So you can do this by setting small goals and working hard to achieve them trying your best every day, and never giving up. And then our character strategy is to read or listen to instructions and follow them carefully. You're going to need to use this strategy this month because you're going to be taking your big eye ready test. And we want to make sure that you guys are reading and listening to directions and also trying your very best. To show excellence, it doesn't mean that you have to be the best. It just means that you have to try your best. Fox to Watch is back. Teachers can nominate who they feel are role models for the school. These could be foxes that are demonstrating excellence. That means that they're trying their best every day and they're working hard. Students who earn Fox to Watch will be able to win a prize, walk down the red carpet, and also have lunch with Miss Spielman. So remember, we are always looking for our Fox to Watch. And teachers, don't forget to get those nominations in. You can find the nomination form on Padlet. There is an executive student council meeting today because it's Tuesday today at 2.30. So don't forget to stay after school and meet with Miss Cecil. For this week, there is no minimum day. So don't forget to tell your parents that there is no minimum day and release time will be at 2.30 every day this week. So that means tomorrow on Wednesday, there is no minimum day. Before we went on break, we did have a door decorating competition, and we want to say thank you to all the classes who participated. So all the classes who participated will get a bonus recess tomorrow at 145. Our winner was Mrs. Dutra's class, and you could see her class right there with their Polar Express door. Her class will be winning a hot cocoa party sometime soon. We're going to make sure we make those arrangements with them, and we're looking forward to our door decorating competition next year. Thank you to the judges, Ms. Weber, Ms. Lena, Ms. Turrentine, and Ms. Ferreira for all your help on judging those doors. To all the classes who participated, enjoy your free bonus recess. On Thursday, there's a student council meeting in the library at 8.05. This is for all classroom representatives and the executive board, so we hope to see you there. Our weekly activity schedule for first through third grade, we have egg and a spoon. And for fourth and fifth grade, we have kickball basketball. Miss Brenda will be out this week, but we should have a sub for her. So as long as we are fully staffed, we will have these activities available for you. Also, something big is coming for fifth grade. We have a fifth grade kickball tournament starting this Thursday. So this Thursday, we're going to have Miss Luna versus Mrs. Hoag's class, so we'll see how they do. But remember, uh, there is going to be a sports contract for the students participating. We want to make sure that your focus is on your academics. Yes, kickball is fun, but remember, your academics are the most important thing. Also, for language and behavior, we need to make sure that everyone treats every member of the team with respect. Sportsmanship, every player will support each of its members and their opponents in games. You will be respectful and kind to everyone and equipment. Proper shoes and appropriate clothing must be worn. You guys have your class shirts that you guys will be wearing, but also if you want to play kickball, uh, bring those extra shoes. You can't play kickball with Crocs on, so make sure that you are being responsible. And good luck. We can't wait to see how you guys do. For Live the Creed, our goal is six certificates. Remember, we want to make sure that classes are doing their personal best, and they are also trying to not get referrals. So these are the standings for Live the Creed. Lots of classes have three. We don't have any classes with four yet. So make sure you're getting those dates into Mr. Gong or myself so that way we can get your class down. And let's make sure we're living the creed so that way we can go to our assembly in February. For shout outs this week, Mrs. Gunn wanted to give a shout out to Davian. He's already earned top box for the second trimester. So great work, Davian. We also have Miss Garcia in second grade. Congratulations for having your project funded. Um, her class is going to be having a glow day. And you can see she got a nice big check and she gets to um, plan that activity for her class once she gets her materials. You could see in the picture there, we have other teachers who also have submitted projects. And so far, Ms. Charo, Ms. Robertson, and Ms. Gunn's class have had projects funded. So we can't wait to tell you more about that. We also have some teachers who want to get their projects funded, and that's Ms. Bowman, Ms. Hoban-Munden, and Mrs. Johnson. So 
Uh, good luck to those teachers, and we hope to hear more good news soon. We have had quite a few positive office referrals. Mr. Magania has had a great week in his class, so he gave away four in one week. And the first one was to Nicholas. This is Nicholas right here. Nicholas has had such a great attitude. He is always energetic, cheerful, and promotes a fun learning environment when collaborating with others in his class. We also have Edward, who is right here. And he constantly challenges himself to push further in every task he is given. He carries plenty of self-motivation to aim high and score high. So great job for those two students in Mr. Magana's class. We also have Shane in Mr. Magana's class, and Shane is right here. He always looks to support others around him when he finishes his tasks in class, and he is a great help to other foxes in his class. And we have Natalie right here. She is a student who demonstrates perseverance. She takes on challenges with patience and great effort. So great job, Shane and Natalie. We also love that these four foxes from Mr. Magana's class are showing the younger foxes how to be great classroom citizens. So thank you, fifth graders. We have a few more. We have Giselle from Miss Vang's fourth grade class right here. She is responsible and has a strong work ethic. She always strives to do her best and reach her academic goals. She has already earned top box for next trimester. So great job, Giselle. And then we have Nevea. It just so happened when she came in, Santa was visiting first grade. So Nevea got to take her positive office referral picture with Santa. And Miss Cecil gave her a positive office referral because she overcame a big fear. She is a positive student and has been doing amazing things. So we are so proud of you, Nevea. And also shout out to Miss Mua in first grade who arranged for this Santa to visit all the kinder and first grade classrooms. We appreciate it, Miss Mua. Thank you so much. And our last positive office referral is from Jake and Miss Birnbaum's second grade class. He has already earned top box status for second trimester, and we are all so proud of him for reaching that goal. So great work, Jake. We're proud of you, and so is Ms. Birnbaum. We have a new program coming up called the PASS program, and PASS stands for Perfect Attendance Spells Success. We will be partnering with Horace Mann Insurance to promote school attendance. Starting next Monday, we're going to have a campaign to see which students can have the best attendance. In May, we're going to take the students with the best attendance, and those students will be eligible to win a drawing for a new bike. More information will be sent home this week to your family. There will also be more prizes for grade levels that have the best attendance throughout the second half of the year. So attendance is important, and for those students that show up, we want to reward you. And don't forget, we also have our snow cone parties for Foxes on Time. So make sure you're getting here on time, especially when you feel well and you're good enough to come to school, so that way you can help your class earn those goals. And if you're one of the top students with the best attendance, then you will be eligible to win a bike at the end of the year. So good luck. And now it's time for kindness ticket winners. So let's go ahead and see who's going to win. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick from the top, middle, and bottom. So from the top, we have Sebastian in Miss Carlos's class. Congratulations, Sebastian. Up next, we have Wyatt D in Miss Boo's class. Congratulations, Wyatt. And now from the bottom, we have. Logan from Miss Mua's class. So those three students, Miss Spielman, will be by later on this week to give you your prize. Congratulations to Logan, Wyatt, and Sebastian. And our quote of the week, I couldn't decide which one I liked more considering it's a new year. So the first one is, this is your year to sparkle. And my second quote is, be more awesome than last year. Everyone can do it. And I hope you guys have a great 2023. And that's all I have for you this week. So remember to have a great week and work hard. Remember, together we are Fox Strong. And uh, if you need anything, you can reach out to Miss Spielman, Mr. Gong, or myself. So let's go ahead and put our foxes up and end with the fox crate. Are you ready? All right, let's go. To be a fox, repeat in your mind. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and kind. Here are your birthdays. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.